Hello guys. <laughs> it's the kid Jaddy and I'm here to explain, draw, and like depict a visual of my project DiCaprio 2. We're gonna start off with the first song that's called Slick Talk. Slick Talk is like a it's like a shit talking song. Kinda a little bit, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna start with like I guess a red dot right here, a random red dot. It's like a gunshot red dot. And uh, I put some water on it so you so it won't mix the colors too bad. I'm not good at this, but I've seen, it used to be a dude on the channel, uh, GPTV, TV, and he used to be drawing so quiet. Y'all know what I'm talking about? He'll make something out of a tree. Bob fucking Ross, that dude. Jit Ross right now with the dreads. Okay, Slick Talk. And it's like a long ass song. When I, I started this song in 2015. I'm produced by this dude named E Wonder who fucking sucks because he's gonna send the sample. First off, E Wonder is gonna send the sample and let us know that it was a sample in the beat when he been saying it's not a sample the whole time. So we had to push the project back. Um, but that's okay. So we're gonna go yellow right here. And it's a little red in there too because the second song is called Westbrook. Westbrook is like a underdog song. It's like for people who like always get looked over and you know what I'm saying? Nobody really cares that much. And then something great happens and then you become like, it's like kind of my situation. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna put this blue right here. These colors have nothing to do with each other, but they look really good right now next to each other. So we're just gonna keep going. And I'll actually make this a cloud. It's gonna turn into a cloud. So you just living, just clouds, just rapping, just doing stuff with your friends on Get Ratchet. And obviously, this is the sun. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure this is the sun with the red outline on it because that's how hot, hot these bars are, man. These bars are blazing hot, man. Coming in hot, kicking the lyrics about dope trap rap shit. Gucci gang. Next song is called Off D's and it's featuring J. Cole. The first word is get off my dick. So with that, you can kind of understand. I'm gonna draw Africa so we can just, right? That's Africa, that's a good Africa right there. And this song, Get Off My Dick, is about basically removing your, your mouth from the black man's Johnson. <laughs> No, real shit, this song is about telling people to get off your dick. Okay, I always rap and like make my music about black plight and the stuff that we went through and stuff like that. So this just has to be a, a, um, a part of it, a part of the story and all of that stuff. Okay, the next song is called 151 Rum. So we're gonna switch up the swag. We got a cloud right here, we got a sun and a little obsolete red dot that came from Slick Talk. And we're gonna figure out, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with that, but we're gonna go pastels. Pastels, right? Van Gogh. We got the Van Gogh pastels. You know Van Gogh never sold a painting his whole life. And then after he died, everyone thought he was a genius. And then they started buying his work or start believing it and all of that stuff. People don't appreciate you till you're dead, man. Uh Van Gogh. Okay, I don't I don't know which one to pick, but orange is my favorite color. Orange is like uh a fucking like a gun violence like that's like the color for like gun stuff like orange or whatever and we just want to make sure that kids are protecting themselves and they're staying away from weapons and guns so i'm going to draw an orange gun right here that song came from a part of that was me seeing one of my close friends get shot in his head and it was like really scary and i'll never forget that shit. okay this song this next song is like hella special to me because i feel like j cole produced it Ron Gilmore, Elite, who are a part of like Dreamville, are they produced on it. BJ Chicago Kid did the hook. Uh, Masego played on it, and Mac Miller arranged it. It's like one of the greatest songs I ever made. And it's called Strawberry, so we're gonna start with red. It start, it's called Strawberry, and the first line is, my girl booty soft and it's shaped like a strawberry. Her pussy ball with a tat like Stefan Marbury. It's an amazing line. If you know who Stefan Marbury is, he's one of the first guys with a head tat. So we're gonna draw a strawberry. 
It kind of looks like a butt because my girl booty's soft and it's shaped like a strawberry and I'm in love with it. Okay, that's not, that's, that's a heart. <laughs> it's really bad. That's a heartberry. Yeah, that song is really about, it's like, like a tap on the shoulder, not a tap on the shoulder, but just like a, like women are amazing type song. Like I dress like, I talked about my sisters in this song. I talked about my mom. I talked about girls that I've been with, girls like my ex-girlfriends, all this stuff. And it's really about like, I feel like women should have, should feel way more power in like these times and stuff like that, just because of what they do and what they go through and stuff like that. All right, boom, I'm finna get creative because the song is about a woman, right? Boom, so this is like her back. And then this is gonna be really bad. Legs. This is a real bad woman right here. She's a bad bitch. She's kind of buff though. This right arm right here really got some shit going on. <sighs> Green, yes. I got this song with Method Man, which is really cool. Uh, it's about weed, man. Talking about hot boxing, smoking weed with my OG. That's just like one of the coolest pastimes. This is what, how I feel when I smoke weed. Actually, it's crazy. Him and Black Thought did like a freestyle on the Never Beat, one of my songs. And at, he was about to change the beat. And bro was like, oh no, keep that on. That's J.I.D., that's the man. That's what Method Man said. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you really know, you know what I'm saying? And then when I met him, because we had a couple festivals together, he was just like, bro, I fuck with you. My son fucks with you. Like, you're dope as hell. And I fucking rap for the RZA. They asked me to freestyle. And I was like, okay, bet, nigga. I'll do that shit. And I freestyle. And they was like, oh, shit. So hopefully this shit turns into some dope shit with the RZA and Method Man and all of the Wu-Tang because I'm like the youngest member in that shit right now, which is really cool, unofficially. Yeah, so I work with Mac Miller a little bit on this project. I had like a few sessions and we were preparing to go on tour together, which is sad. Like the tour would have been in three days with me and Mac um, and Thundercat. But he passed and before then he came through, like I was working on my project and shit. I'm gonna use blue because of the album cover, the swimming cover. Um, I wish I knew how to that, draw that little thing. So he pulled up and he heard the song Strawberry that I was working on. And he was like, yo, this is crazy, but you need to do this. So he took some shit out, added some shit. We go on to another record. He's like, no, you need to do this. This need to be the first record. He's like giving hella advice on maybe like five or six of the records. You know what I'm saying on the project? And I'm not really asking, but the ideas that he's coming to wear are genius. I'm like, oh, you could really sit here and do this all day. He's like, yes, that's how I work on my music. Like I sit in front of the computer all day for hours and I just lose myself. That kind of taught me something about like the time you got to put into it to make some shit sound the way you want it to sound. But yeah, he just came through and worked on it. And it was hella special because I feel like it's probably one of the last projects of somebody else he probably worked on and gave advice to. And it just meant a lot just because it felt like a special moment. Okay guys, that's it. DiCaprio 2, the project. Everybody get ready to check it out and thanks. <laughs>